We're in Belgium once again for today's round of the Formula One World Championship. It's a race the great Ayrton Senna won six times, and in 2019, Charles Leclerc became the first driver to take their maiden win here since Michael Schumacher in 1992. Spa-Francorchamps today, a circuit that spans 4.35 miles. There are tons of elevation changes along the way too. 19 corners making up this circuit, with nine of those to the right and the remaining 10 to the left. This track is a great one for fans of pure speed. The average lap speed comes close to a whopping 145 miles an hour. Joining us today to oversee all the thrills and spills, it's Anthony Davidson. And it's great to see you. How are you feeling about the race today? And how are the circuit conditions from what you've seen? Well, the surface looks clean enough, but I'm a little bit worried about the track temperature. It's pretty cool out there, which could give some teams difficulties when it comes to keeping their tyres in the right operating window. The cars out there that work their tyres hard and really put a lot of energy through them, they'll be the ones that are better off. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. George Russell will begin today's event from pole position. Edging out Max Verstappen, he'll start from P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Gardner, Sainz, Charles Leclerc and Ricardo, Norris, Ocon, Kvyat and Alexander Albon. Hamilton, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Stroll, Sergio Perez and Alesi. Magnussen, Gasly, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Nick de Vries, Joe, Latifi, Bottas, and Nobuharu Matsushita. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. After the podium last race, people are expecting a lot from you this weekend, but it's going to be tough from here. All right, welcome everybody to another f1 2020 my team jdm racing video we're at spa franco champ and we're third on the grid i actually we got out qualified by lewis uh so i was fully expecting to see third and fourth jdm cars on that second row but lewis has actually taken a grid penalty so uh he starts from just outside the top 10 i think it was um and we are behind the two mercs which has really scuppered our uh, kind of plans to try and take it to them in both title fights. Uh, it's going to be tricky for me now, um, trying to do this by myself. So we're going to uh, have to try and take this fight to them and see uh, if we can, without our rear gunner, um, try and get in front of these two and uh, at least split them, at the very least, if we can't beat them both. Uh, Max is on the alternate strategy today. He qualified on mediums in Q2. And uh, we are on the normal strategy, which is going on the softer tyre for this first stint. And then on to the medium in the second stint. And I believe George Russell is on the same strategy as us. So, Mercedes are split on strategy. We are going to have to hope that Lewis gets through the field a little bit and helps us out uh, a bit later on. But... I'm not holding my breath on that we will see but if he's got new engine parts maybe he might be able to because i think we're quite quick in a straight line let's do it all right we're off then we get a good start max is trying to get onto the back of george we go down the inside we've overshot it Switch back with behind both of them. Sykes is going to come down the outside of us. Oof, we just, just managed to hold off Sykes there. Now Russell. Gonna have to hold back Max Verstappen here. Because they're gonna need to switch positions for the championship. I suppose in terms of the constructors, they don't really care which order they finish in, but Max is gonna need to get past Russell. 
he wants to make as many points as he can trying to catch me up in the driver's championship. Okay, the start was fine. Let's try and move forward. The Mercedes have looked quick, very, very quick around here. Sets the fastest lap. A little wobble from Max on the exit there. Trying to stay with him down this back bit. Tires have come into the operating range now. Ooh, we got a little bit of oversteer in there, but we're going to lose it. Gone for it, and we've got it under braking there. Good, good job, nice overtake. I was. Uh, We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. Half wondering whether I should go for that. To hold my breath, then. That was an important move. Uh, for the title fight to get in front of Max. Especially on the strategy that we're on. Let's use overtake and burn some of this energy. Seem to be a little bit faster. Right, we have a very section. worn out MG UK. Our battery charge speed is suffering, and if it gets much worse, we could be forced to retire. Got a little bit of a sick car. We're going to box this lap, push hard on the in lap. Now Lewis is up to fifth and posted the fastest lap, so he is coming through the field. Good on him. That's what we need from him. Now Hamilton's into fourth. Go on, Lewis. Engine is looking a little warm. Power output will be less than optimal. George is staying out for another lap. That's interesting that I think Verstappen's come in to swap onto softs. Release, release. Look after these tyres now. We want to finish the race on this compound. 
Alright, so we've got ourselves a nice little pocket here. The staff and got released just behind us, I think. Oh no, that's debris. So the staff and has had all the traffic, which has worked out fantastically well for us. It means he's going to have to get through a lot of that before he can get to us on those soft tyres. Hopefully they're going to wear out with uh, all the passes and extra pushing he's going to have to do. Immediately feel happier on these tyres. Those softs were uh, done. This is in for a stop. I think George Russell's in the pit. There he is. has just moved into first place. Got some DRS. We have five laps of fuel remaining. Right on the ragged edge here, trying to catch George Russell. Jeff, thanks. Well, he's really getting held up. That traffic has helped us out. He did get DRS though. We get a fastest lap. Past, make use of the overtake button and see what you can do. Giving it everything we've got. We had to like give him the place back because we were off the circuit. Might have been our best shot, I don't know. Verstappen now five seconds behind. That was lap. the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. started to drop back. There's a gap beginning to form. Got a good run on him now. He goes to the inside. He squeezes us hard. We squeeze him back. We take the lead. Been lining that up for a couple of laps. We had to make sure everything was on point. We got 
got it. The turbocharger is on its last legs. Let's try to keep mileage on it to a minimum. He's going to be coming back at us now, though. He's got the DRS. We'll have it. Fiat is out. We led the race earlier. What was that about? We've only got two laps of fuel left. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Try and defend the DRS here, we're using all of our engine power. Not giving up. He wants this race win. He's led the majority of the race. Caution, caution. We have to hunt him down. Be aware, there's an incident in the next That's... part of the track. No overtaking through the yellow flags. Kvyat's car on the side okay, there. Clear. Drag us down to the chicane. We hold him off. We round the last corner and we win the Belgian Grand Prix. Fantastic. You've won the Grand Prix. Had to work hard for that. Very well deserved. performance here then and a commanding victory Anthony Davidson how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament they were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs and that's allowed them to get the best out of the car to maximize the strategy and to stay out of trouble here comes your top three making their way down to the podium for what can only be described as a fantastic day for Formula One. And after this round of the World Championship, Here's how things look in the driver's table. Gardner increases their championship lead. Some amazing talent out on the track today. But Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? There's a few contenders, but George Russell definitely stood out, I think. A really solid drive from him today, and one I'm sure the fans enjoyed. It's time to check out the constructor's standings. The current leaders continue to extend their lead at the top. Meanwhile, Alfa Tori's strong weekend allows them to continue their march up the table. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action. I can't wait to see what's next. So, I was about to say with the podium celebrations that George was happy with second, but not as happy as he would have been with uh, winning the race, given that he did have a very good Grand Prix, re led the race uh, pretty much the whole way through for nine laps, or ten laps. And... Uh, we just managed to line him up and get the move done at the end, but he did fight us back on it. So, fair play to George. He had a great drive today. Um, Max was uh, a little bit underwhelming, to be honest. I didn't think that strategy worked out for him in the end. And uh, Lewis, also, great drive coming from 11th to up to 4th. So, extremely happy with him on his comeback drive with the engine penalty. Um, <clears throat> the top four, as you would expect. I'd rather Lewis was in second, but given the circumstances, 
happy with the, the damage limitation there and uh, keeping the uh, points to Mercedes at a decent gap. Um, two Red Bulls, fifth and sixth. Charles Leclerc outperforming the Ferrari once again. Uh, Ocon in the Renault. Another decent points finish for him. And then the two Alpha Tories, ninth and tenth. That's a great double points finish for them. McLaren unlucky not to get in the points today. Bottas up from the back of the grid did a great job um, and uh, beat his teammate. <laughs> so who started uh, 14th. So uh, yeah, I, d I don't know if Alacy is going to be keeping that drive for next season. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, <laughs> he's not. Bless him. I do have a soft spot for him because we brought him into the sport. Um, I really want him to do well, but he's just not <laughs> cutting the mustard. Uh, and then we've got, yeah, the usual suspects down the back. And then Kvyat, uh, who led the race at one point, um, was having a good uh, a good Grand Prix. Uh, probably some sort of mechanical fault has uh, knocked him out of the race there. We'll have to see what that was about. Uh, for the standings, we extend our points advantage over Max Verstappen to 50 points. Lewis Hamilton, further 29 back from that. But top four drivers here in the top two teams, and that's uh, pretty much what you would expect. We're also 107 points ahead of Mercedes in the Constructors' Championship, and that is massively important coming into this last stretch of uh, races. Uh, we've got to make sure that we take stamp our um, advantage and take as many points away from them as possible in the remaining races to, to get this Constructors title fight done and dusted. But it's all looking good right now, but anything could happen. I mean, as you heard, there was a lot of engine uh, messages from... Jeff that we could well be taking penalties or we might have to um, change some parts out I don't know if that's going to cause us any problems with grid penalties or anything like that we'll have to see um, but let's look at the highlights so ideally I wanted to try and split them right off the start and get in front of Max but I couldn't get that done I went for the lead, I went gung-ho, tried to get straight into the lead from the start and uh, messed it up. Had to hold off Sainz here, which was, it could have been, the race could have been over right there. We could have slammed into each other and that would have been that. Uh, but then we, we managed to settle into a rhythm, drop the Red Bulls, try and latch onto the back of these Mercedes. Try and get onto the back of Max, at the very least. Just went from downtown there, slammed it up the inside. That move was key because then we could focus on getting into, uh, onto George and uh, running the, uh, the same strategy. It was just a straight fight between me and him then. The pit, I think definitely that pit stop uh, procedure the pri <laughs> can't even talk the pit stop um, placements in the middle of the race definitely helped us with Max getting caught up in traffic um, us undercutting George by a little bit this was the move where we had to just give the place back because uh, we've gone off the circuit and outbraked ourselves I, I genuinely thought that was it I thought that was our best shot and we probably screwed the tires up but we managed to latch onto the back of him again line it up he did squeeze us gave us just one car's width barely any more than that and then we just squeezed him out in the braking zone right on our butt at the end as well weaving across the line so if you enjoyed this race why not leave a like uh, if you want to tell me anything in the comments leave a comment um, I always read them I'll try and get back to people when I can and I uh, just want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video today. It's been a blast. It's been fun. Uh, I've enjoyed it. It was another win. We're extremely happy about that. 
and uh, hopefully more to come in the future races trying to get this title sealed up uh, so join me next time where we will try and get another win for JDM all right take care thanks for watching guys